Now, in this question, I'll make you understand how to use a modulo operator. What is this question doing? It will ask the user to enter a value. If the entered value is even, you get the message as that the number entered is even. If the value entered by user is odd, you get the message that the number entered is odd. This modulo operator appears like a percentage symbol, right? It gets you the remainder. Like, for example, if I run this program, it will ask the user to enter a number. Suppose user enters value 9. 9 will be converted into integer form and will be assigned to num variable. So, num has got an integer value 9. You are dividing 9 by 2 and the remainder will be assigned to this remainder variable. 2 fours are 8, remainder is 1. So, you get 1 and assigned to this remainder variable. Is the value remainder variable equal to 0? No. So, it will go here and it will get you the output as percentage %d is an odd number. See, percentage %d is a format specifier. It will be replaced by the value of the num variable here. So, you get the output as 9 is an odd number. To run this program again, you enter value 12. Divide 12 by 2. 2, 6 are 12. Mod will get you the remainder. If it is divided completely, the remainder will be always 0. Is the remainder having the value 0? Yes. So, control will come over here. Make it very clear that you don't have to use the comma here, right? Whenever you are using percentage, there is no need of comma here. You get an error if you use the comma here. So, control will come over here. After the percentage symbol, whatever the variable is there, its value will be placed over here. So, the answer will be 12 is an even number. Okay. So, let's copy this and see whether it is working perfectly well. Copy this program. Paste it in your spider ID. Run this program. Enter number. Suppose say I enter 9. 9 is an odd number. Run it again. Suppose you enter say 12. 12 is an even number. 